Hey everybody, welcome to another class. What we're going to do today is we're going to continue to work on various quotes. Where we last left off is we were talking about art now. So that's the quote that we're talking about. So feel free to join the class. I'll be more than happy to see you, okay? Hey, Furkan. Hi, Brad. Hey. How's it going? Fine, as usual. Good. Good. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a pretty good role play class. Cecilia really kicked in. So that was, uh, that was good, yeah. You know how she gets scared during the... Well, I don't want to say she gets scared. That's not it. Um, just sometimes, you know, you guys are a little too crazy for her and for, for most people. But uh, she did a really good job, so it was awesome. It's awesome. Oh, cool. Wow, cool. So a lot of cool people are here. Hey, Abdallah. Hey, how are hey. you? Doing well, doing well. I was just looking at all the students here that um, I'm used to seeing, so that's great. Koji, hey, Koji. And Hello. you guys, you might be muted. Hey, there, there you are, Koji. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, Good. Good. Okay. Good. 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 Nice to see you. This is the um, the first verbling class for me this week, so it's pretty good to see all of you here. Fanfo, hello, Fanfo. Hi, hello. Hey, how you doing today? I'm fine. Good. Thanks. Good, good. Yeah, let me give you all the link here too. This is um, this is what we're dealing with now. The other one was one in general. This one's with art. That's what we're covering. Hello, uh, is it Hiba? Or yes. hello. It, hello, hi Heba. Hi. Hi, hey Heba. Do me a favor. Turn up your microphone. Your microphone's a little, little um faint, so it's hard to hear you. Okay, yeah. Just turn it up a little bit more. Okay. Okay, that's a little better. But if you can do it a little more, that would be great. And and where are you from, Heba? I'm from Palestine. Oh, good, 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 fantastic, fantastic. Well, welcome to class. Welcome to class. So, Thank um, is, you. Yep. Is this your first time on Verbling, or have you been on Verbling before? No, I've been before in uh, another classes, in other classes. In other classes. Yep. Good. You're and you're a self-correcting student. You can't beat that. So that's good. That's good. I always, I always call that self-correcting when you, uh, when you start to say something wrong, you say something wrong, and you correct it. So, so very good. Well, welcome to my class. You're more than welcome in any of mine. Okay. So good. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Hello, Victor. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Hey. Good, good, good. My Zapata, like I said, it's better to die on your feet than live on your knees. So good, good. So uh, always good to have a Zapata around. So, and if you folks are wondering, uh, he's from the Zapata bloodline. So I, I forget the first name of Zapata, but he was a famous revolutionary during um, during Mexico's revolution, where they became independent. And one of his most famous quotes is, "I would rather die on my feet than live on my knees." And I just I think that's a great quote to uh, to live your life by. Okay, so good, good. Let's see who else is here. Uh, Carl. Hi. Hey, Carl. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. Well, where are you from, Carl? I'm from China. Oh, okay, good. Oh, have you been in my class before? Uh, I guess so. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, where at in China? Where Where do you live in China? Uh, Guangdong. Guangdong. Yep, Guangdong province. Mhm. Mm okay, got it. Got it. All right. Uh, Hani. Yeah. Hi, Hani. How are you? Fine. What about you? Doing well. Doing well. Hani, can you turn up your microphone just a little bit more? It's a little hard to hear you. Okay. If, uh... Yep. And where where are you from, Hani? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep, that's better. Where where are you from? Uh, from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Okay, good, good, good. Wow, a lot of um, a lot of people from different places. Uh, Furkan, where are you from today? Where's your new country? Where are you from? Are you from France? Costa Rica. Now? You're from Costa Rica. Costa Rica today. Okay, yeah, yeah. This guy travels the world. He's from all different countries. So, <laughs> so it's always good. Hey, everybody, make sure that you use the Verbling chat if you can. Sometimes it has a little bit of an issue, um, so just click. So you have on the left hand side, you have invite. Well, you don't have invite people. You have a screen share. You have chat. Just click on the Verbling uh, classes, and then you use the chat on the right hand side. Okay. All right. So great. I know some teachers like to do introductions, tell everybody where they're from, ask you your favorite color, your favorite ice cream, things like that. I just like to get straight into teaching, okay? All right, so I hope you don't mind. So last time we left off. Yep, okay, so this is where we last left off. We had done the first one. This first one was pretty funny. Um, what we're doing here is we're going through these so that we can learn new vocabulary. We can also discuss these together as well. I'm going to have one person read it at first. If you have any thoughts, if you have any questions, whatever the case, just ask those. I really enjoy the participation. Um, there's no stupid question. Uh, I, th I think you all have heard that before. So feel free. All right, uh, Abdallah, can you read this first one here, Mike, Michelangelo? OK. When Mike and Angelo finished the painting of the Sistine couples sailing, he spent the rest of his life trying to remove the paint that had poured into his sleeve. Mm -hmm. Francois yeah. Cavana. Okay. So here, sorry, we were, we were selling goats earlier, okay, in case you're wondering why this is on here. Okay. So, yeah, so Michelangelo, he's a very, he's an inventor, he's a painter, he's a sculptor. You know, just yes. an incredible guy. So he's a talented a, person. Yeah, just multi multi talented, just an incredible human being. So yeah, so this here, I mean this is just amazing. <laughs> that somebody could do something like this, you know? Just breathtaking. Okay. And this is one of his most famous parts of this, right? And it it doesn't matter, just Get rid of your religious beliefs for a second, okay? Um, doesn't matter, uh, you know, what religion he based this on. But this is this is nice, you know. So this is man and God, you know. So really, really cool stuff. Okay, so that's the Sistine Chapel and Michelangelo. Um, so yeah, not re not really much vocabulary here to learn. 
Okay, maybe a few thoughts. Any thoughts on this? You know, what, what does he mean by he spent the rest of his life trying to remove the pain? Maybe he, he spends his whole life by pain again, and there's just a little bit left on his life, and he spent that part removing that uh, drain. Yeah, and maybe, maybe for some, I don't know, maybe he regretted it or something, you know? He spent the rest of his life trying to remove the paint that it poured into his sleeve. Because if you look at him, his inventions and everything, uh, and also some of his writings would lead you away from him actually believing, uh, believing in a divine being, you know? Hello, David. Hi, David. Welcome to class. Okay, you can be shy if you want, David. Also, David, make sure that you click the microphone above the verbling chat, all right? Okay, Carl, the next one. Okay. Art consists of limitation. The most beautiful part of every picture is the frame. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we all know that the pictures, well, not all of them, some are just on a canvas. But you know, pictures have a frame around them, right? Okay. But this is some sort of metaphor, isn't it, Carl? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, one, one moment. Hello, David. Hi, David. Hey, David, go ahead and talk again, okay? I, th I thought we heard you say hello. David, don't, don't be shy. Come on, David. It's okay. All right? Okay? So, yeah, Carl, we're talking about this being a metaphor. What, what do you think this means? The most beautiful part of every picture is the frame or consist of, of limitation. Um, I don't know. Art consists of limitation. The most beautiful part of every picture is the frame. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> Okay, it's all right. Does anybody else have any ideas on what, what he's trying to say? Yeah, maybe limits makes it perfect. And frame is the limit of a um, picture, literally. Yeah. But this is feared. Yep, so maybe, maybe the, um, not the physical frame itself. You know, he's just using that as a metaphor. Maybe uh, the subject, the limitation of whatever the subject is. So, and actually, I don't know. I don't know what exactly he's saying either, so it's because I maybe. speak English perfectly. Maybe well, the perfectly. border of the picture. The, the what, Abdallah? The border of the, the picture. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay, got it, got it. And uh, Hiba, what was your quote? Um, maybe it's, um, everything has its limits. Uh, they mean the frame of the of, of any portrait. Okay. Not little, literally. Yeah, but I, I, I think yeah, and I think you all are saying the same thing, right? I think we're all on the same lines that you know the the limitation of whatever the subject is. Okay, so you know, just like you have a subject of a paper, you have a subject of the um, the picture and so forth. Okay. I right. think this limitation uh, decreases after uh, Photoshop and the 3D Max and the 3D. Okay. Yeah. Can you can you speak up a little bit more, Ha? Huh? And maybe turn up the microphone too. It's just just really faint. Okay. Go ahead, Ha. Huh? I want to listen to you. It's just hard to hear. Yeah. Go ahead. I think I think that the limitation decreases after uh, new. Uh, Okay. Um, I'm trying to um, trying to fully understand that. So you're saying that there's no limitation because of the different computer programs and things like that. Yeah, uh, not uh, not at all, but uh, at least decrease the limitation goes down. Oh, okay, okay. So the limitation goes down these days because of technology. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Uh, I have a say. You have, okay? Go ahead, Fanfo. Yeah, I think it's like um, when you look at the picture, uh, 
you see the obvious thing you don't go over details or after uh, the limitations okay all right and and uh, also too since art is interpreted is that what you're saying as well you know since you have your own in interpretation of art we can all look at a picture and maybe sometimes um, you know get a different uh, get a different meaning especially like with abstract art You know? Oh, uh, yeah, you know what? Impressionist. Let's, let's do something a little different. Okay? Maybe get a different feeling and a different sense for what they're trying to convey in here, right? Like maybe this picture as well. Because some might try to convey the pollution here. I don't, I don't know. So different ways that you can look at things. Okay? <clears throat> All right, so good, good. Hey, David, are you going to talk today? Hello, David. Hey, David, maybe you're having a problem with your microphone. You need to click on the red microphone above the verb wing. Hello, David. Hi, David. Okay. All right, go ahead, Fanfell. The next one. If I had been around. If I have been around when Rubens was painting, I'd have been revered as a fabulous model. Kate Moss, well, she would have been the paintbrush. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I don't know who Rubens was. Let's look at some of his art. Rubens, uh, is he an artist? Mm -hmm. yep. So here he is. It looks like he... Hmm. Yeah, the period of time when he was around. I wonder what period of time. It's, it's definitely the Renaissance. Um, hmm. yep. Wow. Very good painting, so, huh? Very graphic. Check this one out. Wow, boy! Could you imagine that? Could you imagine having that in your bedroom? Imagine the nightmares you're having. waking up every day looking at that. I mean, it's I, I actually I, I like this. Uh, I actually like the Baroque style like this, where you get a lot of blues and reds. I don't know what, what period he was around. Um, let's see. Okay. I would have been. Oh, Kate Moss. That's a um, model. Yeah. Yeah, and who's, who's all that sound coming from? Okay, Kate Moss, yes, she's a famous model. Here she is. Pure beauty, right? Okay, is that a pumpkin? She has a pumpkin, huh? Oh, there's Kate Moss and a pumpkin. That's nice. Yeah, she's still human after all. Mm -hmm. She would have been the paintbrush. Okay. Wow. Yes. Great. Very good. Uh, any any um, any feedback on this? Maybe the paintings of Rubens are so awesome that even Kate Moss is just a just looks like a paintbrush. A paintbrush. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? What does it mean revered? Oh, revered. That means that people uh, adore you. Okay, they look up to you. All right. Okay. Like our leaders used to be revered, but most of them aren't revered anymore. Also, too, you look at Kate Moss. She's so thin. Uh, you look at this period of time, and usually the women are more robust. You know, they're they're larger. Knees. Okay, and she's so skinny. Okay. What means a down French? Uh, I'm sorry. Where? Which? Which word in here? Or down is French. The one who signs. Who signs? Oh, Don. 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 Yeah, I don't. I don't know who Don French is. Let's see if we can see Don French. The so Navy pole. But just some persons. Here's here's Don French. Okay. Okay. All right. There she is. 
Okay. That's that's okay. Ah, so now this makes a little more sense. Think about it. Okay. Right. Yeah, look, she's look, bad. Look, yeah, so you can look. You can look at her size. Okay. And then you look at the size of the women in here. Okay. She. Okay. She would have been revered. I would have been revered as a fabulous model. Kate Moss, since she's so skinny, well, she would have done the paintbrush. Okay. So, uh, mm -hmm. I have a question. Yep. Uh, this woman, Don French, is aware of his body. Well, what they call this person? When she's she self aware, or? Yes, it's like that. Yeah, it's except these features, what they call this. Yeah, you, usually a person's self-aware, you know, they're aware of who they are, you know, like the, um, like the thought by uh, Descartes, know thyself, right, okay? Or high self-esteem, maybe? Yeah, she has a high self-esteem, mm -hmm. you know, she has self-actualization, right, okay? So, you know, you look at the... Um, uh, Okay, so if you all know about uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, all right, it's it's a part. I like this theory too much. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I could go on and on about this because I, I believe yeah. that I believe I believe that so many of us we don't want to reach this, you know, and that what we do is we substitute TV, sports, um, just as as many things, you know, buying things. That we do that, especially in the modern world, you know, like um, you know the Western world, uh, we get to this. But anyway, so yeah, so these are the basic needs that you have, right? Okay, and she's she, you know, has conquered this: the self-esteem, confidence. She doesn't care, you know. Okay, so and she's all the way in here, you know, acceptance of facts. She accepts herself for who she is. So okay, so good. Good. Very, very good whoever asked for, um, for her name. That made everything come together. Okay, so let's see who else is next. Um, Fanine. Hello, Fanine Silva. Hello, DJ. I'm here. Good, good. How are you? I'm good. I'm feeling good. Yeah, for for come on, don't for doesn't for doesn't doesn't own verbally. So, are are you from um? Where are you from? Are you from Brazil? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. Did you did you know? Well, I just recognize your last name. You know, Silva. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah. So good. Welcome to class. Can you see the screen? Thank you. You're welcome. Can you see the screen that's in front of you? Wait. Uh, my screen where it has the next quote yes. here. Yeah, can yes, you, yes, yes. Good. Can you read this? Can you read this for us? Okay, okay. The artist alone sees spirits, but uh, after he has told of their appearing to him, everybody sees them. John, okay. Wolf, John Wolfgang von Gogh. Mm -hmm. Von Gogh, yep. Or Van Gogh, yeah. So this guy here, he's, he's an excellent. Um, oh no, 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 no. So no, he's did he? I'm gonna try this. I understand it. And um, I work him. No, no. He's talking about Git. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he. Well, so right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm looking here now. Where's the? Um, I think he's just a writer. Yeah, he's just a writer. Yeah, I got it mixed up here. I'm still um, getting the cobwebs out of my head. Okay, so so what does he mean by this? What does he mean by this? Anyone? You know, the artist alone sees spirits. Okay, but after he is told of their, you know, hmm? uh, he thinks in in his mind, and after he paints dogs, uh, other people can see his imagination. Yep. Yep. Any other thoughts on this? No? Okay. All right. Pardon me. I was just getting the cobwebs out of my head. So thanks for correcting me. Uh, Hiba. Hiba, the next one. Uh, 
Hey, um, yeah, hey, hey, Doa. So, so it's great, you know. Hello, everybody. Blah blah blah. Um, and it's great to know where everybody's from. But uh, you know, it's better just to kind of focus on the class, all right, and save the chat for focusing on class. Okay, Doa. And also, too, Doa, I, you know, I read in there to try to see if somebody is, um, you know, saying something that's relevant to the class. So I don't want to have to fish through all of your, um, all of your sayings of, hey, where's everybody from? Okay. All right. There we go. So yes, Heba. Go ahead, Heba. The next one. Give me a museum. Um, give me a museum, and I'll fill it. Mm-hmm. Yep. So Pablo Picasso. All right. Pablo Picasso. Yeah. No, no, it's okay. You didn't do anything wrong. So he's cool. Him. Yeah. He's he's got um. What is this one famous one? I think time. Um, is that there, um the smile? Some no, that's not. After his city bombed by uh, German forces, he drew something. He drew something. I forgot his name. Yeah, so that. Let's see here. Sometimes, um, sometimes it'll come up. Gornica. Gornica. Yes. It's a United Nations. Oh, sorry, Pablo Picasso. How do you, how do you spell it? G O. Okay, right down here, mm. Gornica. Is this the one? Yes. Okay. Wow. And what what was this one? What was this one based on? Uh, his city bombed by was bombed by uh, planes, airplanes during the oh. World War II, and he drew that picture. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. So he's in his bomb shelter, right? Yeah. The light looks like an eye. Yep. Yep. Very good. Very good. And this has to be in his bomb shelter. Wow, that's um, very striking. You can see the mother. She's right there carrying her baby, crying. Mm -hmm. Left side. Yep, down here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Wow, that is very uh, good. Good job, Furkan. Good job, everybody. Good. Good. Here we go. Um, let's see here. So, hey, Imad, welcome to class. Hello, Vet. How are you doing? Doing well. Doing well. Um, yeah, Imad, why don't you read the next one here? So, I choose a block of marble. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I have to go to, uh, to the website because I I don't see it clearly here. Um, I choose a block of marble and chop off whatever I don't need. Franz Frank Boyce at Augusta Rodin when asked how he managed to make his remarkable statements. Mm -hmm. So Rodin, he uh, he uh, was famous for. Should I his... complete or? I uh, yeah, go ahead. Just you can talk. You can... No, I'm, I can hear you. You can talk about his um his famous um. His famous uh, sculptures, right? I mean, his most famous one here is the Thinker, right? And then um, also this one is well, I think this is the Gates of Hell. This one here, okay. It's too bad there's not a uh, more up close picture. So yeah. Oh, by the way, Heba, everything's okay, but just make sure you mute yourself when you're not speaking, just because we can hear a little bit of. Okay, but no problem. No problem. So yeah, the thinker. This is his most famous one here, right? And then also. Teacher, two. what is marble? Uh, yeah. So marble. Mar yeah. So that's that's what he's using. So marble is uh, what he's using in order to create the paintings. Or pardon me, not the paintings. Um, the statues. Sculptures. The sculptures. Mm -hmm. So marble. This is raw marble. Okay, so that's marble. Okay, yeah, it's just a kind of stone. That's what he's using here. 
All right. Yeah, the thinker is his most famous one, right? Um, but also, too, you have the gates of hell, I believe is the name of it. And this is really graphic. At Stanford University uh, in California, they actually have, um, uh, they redid the gates of hell in there. And where are they presenting the original thinker sculpture? I don't know. I don't know where the thinker's located right now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's in. Yeah, I just I don't even know. Yeah. Too many imitations in every part of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that. Also, David. So down in um, down at the Ringling Museum of Art, they have a, a statue or a cast of David, you know, which is also uh, pretty cool as well. Okay, so yeah, that's all he does. He chops off whatever he doesn't need. Right? Um, any metaphor in here? You know, any metaphor to life? Anything? You know, can we do that in life? You know? Maybe with our life we kind of just get rid of the things that we don't need and we just move on with the things that we want. Maybe the older we get. You know? Yeah. So... Okay, and feel free, you know, whoever, just, just jump right on in, okay? All right, so uh, let's see. Koji, the next one, Koji. Okay. See what will happen if you don't stop biting your fingernails. Mm -hmm. Will Rogers, to his nice on scene, the Venus de Milo. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so, so no arms, right? And um, if you look at Will Rogers, so Will Rogers, he was a, uh, he was an actor. Yeah, so this guy was a famous, um, famous cowboy, famous uh, actor, and so forth. Okay. <laughs> okay, now I get it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's what that's what'll happen. You know, Be careful. You, know, you don't stop biting your fingernails. So some of, some of this is just fun, right? Yeah. So, and and Heba, Heba, it's it's okay. But Heba, do me a favor. Just and I, and I know I get a little obsessed with this, but just when you're not speaking, just mute your microphone so that there's no extra little sound or anything. Okay, and no problem. Yep. And some of the students will mute it for you. Um, go ahead, Furkan. The next one, skill. Okay, skill without imagination is craftsmanship and gives us many useful objects such as wickerwork, picnic baskets. Imagination without skill gives us modern art. <laughs> so this this kind of goes goes all the way back here, right? Abstract art, the yeah. product of the untalented soul by the unprincipled. Yeah. So so this one here. So um so you know imagination skill without imagination is craftsmanship, right? Okay. So craftsmanship is when you when you can um, you get to a level with whatever you're doing to where it's a high level. Okay. So wicker work picnic baskets. Okay. So so real basic, real real functional things, right? Okay. So you don't you can just be a good craftsman, but no imagination you can make that. So <laughs> imagination without skill. Gives us, you know, so so modern art. So some of the modern art is just a little bit, you know. Some of it's good, but some of it, you know, just, I mean, this, I don't know. It, it, everybody has their own taste, right? You know. And what was the one? Yeah. I mean, so this is a real Andy Warhol, right? Okay, this is his, one of his more famous, um, you know, he did different variations of this, okay, but I don't know, I mean, I guess it's creative, I don't, I don't know, I just, I don't really get into this one at all that he did, you know. I remember I, one time I went to a book fair, but at the beginning there was a huge modern art gallery, and I finished that part in 30 seconds. 
Yeah, so you, you can tell a lot of these people don't really care for this as much, for that much. Okay, so Victor, the last one. Mm, yeah. mm, the other one? Ah, uh, yeah, paradoxically. Paradoxically, though it might seem, it is not the least true that life imitates are far more than art imitates life. Oscar mm -hmm. White. Okay. So, let's go ahead. What, what do you think of this, Victor? We got inspiration from real life or for dreams. But all arts is it's difficult to make a, a balance. They can match. Well, in my view. Okay, uh, so go ahead. Maybe, uh, maybe us reflect life uh, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so paradoxically, though it may seem right, so the paradox um, that it, uh, life imitates art far more than art imitates life. Okay, so, so we kind of like to imitate the art, right? We like to go after that. Mm -hmm. So an Oscar but Wilde. If you're talking about Oscar Wilde, uh, probably there will be more than one meaning, maybe two, three. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So he, he always has some funny quotes, didn't Is he the one that was quoted as saying, um, Oscar Wilde, um, uh, be yourself. I'm trying to remember if he has the one. Yeah, this, this is one of, my, one of my favorite quotes. Be yourself, everyone else is taken, you know? So, you know, we, we, so many people want to try to be somebody else. Just, just be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. You know, you can't be them. Okay? And also, too, let's, so Doa, Doa, just Doa, what, what people are trying to help you with here, let me show you, okay? All right. So take a look, Doa, and everybody's just trying to help you, okay? What happens is you get into this section here where you get a partner, okay? So get some friends, all right? And then get a partner, and then in here, this is where you can start. And you can tell I've been horrible. I haven't even started at all. Um, but yeah, get a partner in here, and this is when you can start to do a language exchange, Doa. This is what they're talking about. Everybody's just trying to help you, okay? That's all, you know? Okay, so on to the next one here. Um, attitudes. Okay. So yeah, Dylan, it's not about Facebook, okay? All right. I'm sure. I'm sure like, does everybody want to visit Doa's Facebook page? <laughs> just, I'm just. I'm <laughs> dying to. <laughs> everybody, at Doa. So Doa, we're just trying to help you, okay? This isn't Facebook friends. We just, we just. Um, we were just able to show you exactly what to do. It's not a problem, Doa. The world is not against you, okay? All right? Okay, so attitudes. Go ahead, Abdallah. Can you uh, read this? Okay. Winning is not only guiseless, but can be dangerous. It can alert a brute that a victim is in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Maya Angelo, I know why the caged bird sings. Okay, what, what does this mean? It's okay, Abdallah. Uh, I am trying to figure out. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I just <laughs> I keep looking at Doa, <laughs> just wondering. <laughs> okay. So, and, and anyone else? Just go ahead. Feel free to join in on this. What is graceless? Yeah. So graceless. So when you, <clears throat> so for instance, excuse excuse me. One one moment here. Sorry. Clear my throat. Yeah, so if you ever look at a ballet dancer, there's a lot of grace with the way they dance. People, you should live your life. You, sh you should be very, uh, you know, graceful. You should have a lot of grace in what you do. So if you're graceless, then you're just some clumsy org that's just walking around, uh, bumping into things. People don't want to be around you. 
you know, that's graceless. I have no grace, all right? No. Yeah, so whining, you know, you know whining. So whining, here, let me just yeah. show you a picture. For those of you that haven't ever seen anybody whining, okay. It's got to be some good pictures. Yeah, so here, here's whining. <laughs> So why do you, it's not, <laughs> it's, it's not just for babies, oh wait, yeah, it is. <laughs> this one, this one's good here too, okay? <laughs> and don't worry, it's just kid, little kids whining, you know? Is the show in the cheese? What's that? Whining. Someone show in the, the cheese. Yeah, showing their tears and they get that little pouty face, you know. So if somebody's whining, you know, nobody wants to see anybody whine, right? Yeah. You know? There is uh, enjoy whining and uh, losing whining, I guess. Uh, say that again? Someone uh, in the victory is whining also, and uh, others uh, whining in lost, in case of lost. Oh, yeah, yeah, they whine when, when you lose, you can whine. Yep. And yep. when you win also, you, you won something. You, you whine when you, when you win something? Yes. You mean cry. The, oh, you cry. Yes. That's, yeah, that's different. Yeah, no, no, you cry. Those are tears of joy. So, so yeah, yes, no, that's, joy. yeah that's, that's, that's a lot different than, um, it's, it's, it's okay. the exact opposite. It's, a, it's okay and no, no problem. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's tears of joy where you just like, you just had a new baby. Look at that, you know. These are tears of joy. Yeah. <laughs> so this is yeah. this is Jess, this is Jesse Jackson. This guy this guy is a loser. He had, he um he's a he's a preacher and he had an illegitimate child. Okay, so this is how crazy he had an illegitimate child. Right, yeah. it's out in the public. You know, um, cheat on his wife, all this other stuff. Hit it, but yet people in the public still look up to him. I mean, if you say you're a man of God and you have an illegitimate child, it just it, may, it, may, it makes no sense. <laughs> Society just freaks me out, you know. So, uh, anybody else want to talk about this? What, what do you What do you think about this, Heba? What do you think about this? Why Why can it alert a brute? You know, and here's a brute. Let me show you a brute. Well, <laughs> you get the idea of a brute, okay? So a, br a brute, yeah. So a brute is somebody who's really tough. He's a bully. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Are you there, Kiba? You might be muted. No. Okay. How about you, Fanfo? What What does hello. this mean? Oh, hello. Yeah. So Kiba, what does this mean here? So whining, we know what whining is. We know it's not graceful. It's whining graceless. Is complaining, complaint about something. Yeah. So why is it dangerous? It says it's dangerous. It can alert a brute that a victim is in the neighborhood. You know, um, what, you know what that maybe means? Because, maybe because it uh, whining uh, bothers uh, a uh, people uh, uh, around you. Uh, also, too, you know, somebody, so you might be whining because of what somebody's doing to you, but there might be a person around that can damage you even more, right? It can damage you even more. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Rebecca asks, what's the meaning of a vice? Let's go on to the next one, and we'll talk about vice. Carl, what's the, can you read the next one here? Okay. Jealousy is the only vice that gives no pressure. Mm -hmm. So, yep. So what does vice mean? Do you know what vice is? Uh, bad vice things. Means bad things. It's like a bad habit. Mm -hmm. So you have a vice, you know, so different vices are like drinking, you know. Let's see if we can see some pictures of vices. Ooh, shoot. You can see ices. Vices. Uh, but habit. <laughs> That's also a vice. <laughs> so yeah, so the different bad habits you can have. Here's here's some vices, right? You know, uh, beer, chocolate. Okay, yeah, I, I like chocolate. Chocolate. 
Yeah. Come on, come on. Well, yeah, but if you eat too, I know, I know. But anything in and um, things in moderation are okay. All right, just when you have too much, right? You know, takeaway yeah. food is full of a bunch of bad things for you. Too much alcohol, too much wine, yeah. too, too much coffee. You have too much coffee, you know. Too All much tea also. Too much what? Tea. Too much tea? There's no way you can drink too much tea. <laughs> no, you know, my actually my amazingly enough, my doctor told me I have to slow down on my green tea because actually too much green tea is not good. Yeah. You know, too, so. much yes, it's too, much, too much burbling. Yes, it's increased. Too much Yeah, too much burbling. <laughs> so, yeah. we're up a lot. <laughs> so jealousy. We all know what jealousy is, right? So yeah. jealousy. Yeah, when when you know you, there's it's different to, to hit someone with he is better than you. Something. Yeah, like. Yeah, so you're jealous you're of somebody. You, 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 you want to be in his place. Yeah. For example. Like this girl here, she's like, yeah. wow, I wish I could be with a guy that unbuttons his shirt like that. Yeah. That looks really cool. <laughs> how, how, she can, how she can find that handsome guy? That's yep. what, uh, what is in her, in her mind. Yep, yep. I, don't, <clears throat> I think she just really likes the shirt. You know, I wish I didn't have so much hair on my chest. I would love to walk around like that every day. You know? <laughs> Could you imagine if everybody walked around like that? What a cool world. <laughs> just walk around and show off your chest hair. Yeah, just hey man. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. So so what is, what does he mean by this? Does jealousy jealousy does it? Does it give you any pleasure? Does anybody have any pleasure? Can I say something? Oh yeah, Hiba. Yep, definitely. Um, I think it means uh, that jealousy is uh, a, the way to uh, to self destruction, maybe, and uh, mm -hmm. it breaks uh, relationships. Mm -hmm. Yep. And if you think about the other vices, if you eat a lot of chocolate, you get pleasure, right? You drink a lot of wine, yeah. you know, all the other stuff. It makes you feel but good. Uh, Jealousy, nothing. Oh, go ahead. Yep. It's uh, but eating chocolate and uh, also uh, and wine and uh, cigarettes. Uh, that's uh, involve your health. That uh, may cause problem in health and something uh, in your. Uh, I don't remember the name. That's okay. So yeah, it's th those those are also bad for you. But doesn't it feel better? You know, jealousy. When you have jealousy, yeah, it's a self-destructing habit as well. But it doesn't. There's no. It doesn't really feel good. If you're, um, I don't know if you've ever drank wine and had some good chocolate. But wow, really good stuff. But yeah, it can be bad for you. If it's not in moderation. But um, you know, at least it feels good. Jealousy, you know, that's a bad vice. That's a bad habit that a lot of people have, and no, no pleasure in it. Okay. So, all right. So let's see here. I think Imad, Imad, the next one. Hi. Yeah. Um. Which one? Uh, love looks through. Okay. Uh, love looks through a telescope, empty uh, through a microscope. Okay. So, mm -hmm. yep. So envy, envy is the same, same thing as, as yes. jealousy. Yeah, you know, same type of thing. You're envious of somebody. Let's see what we get for envy. Let's see if we have any. But which one is uh, the worst one, envy or jealous? Which one's the worst? Um, I don't know. I don't know. What the heck is this? It wears a coat and hangs up. Oh my gosh, that is so that is so mean. That is so absolutely mean. Jeez, oh Pete. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, there's a pretty good movie by that as well. Um, yeah, it's just an NV epidemic. Okay. So yeah, which one is worse? Um, I mean they're both bad. You know, and they're they're both around the same thing, or they both have the uh, same type of um, premise. You know, somebody else has something that you want, okay? 
but we usually relate jealousy for some reason. We usually relate that to personal relationships, you know, like you're jealous of somebody because of their boyfriend or their girlfriend, you know, so that's how we get to that. Um, hello, Rebecca. So I, uh, yep, go ahead. Go ahead, Iman. Uh, I think the, the jealous means uh, like in feeling, just in feeling, but in in something that you belong to, uh, something that you have or... Right. You, know, you know what, they're probably going to be synonyms if you look them up. They're going to be synonyms. They're, they're, they're meaning so similar, right? And, um, you know, it's, it's how you look at it, right? I usually see it to where people equate jealousy a lot more to relationships. And then if you're envious, it's more because if somebody has more money than you, um, you know, different things like that. Jealous. Like uh, when you're a little kid, maybe you have siblings, and your mother might spend more time with one of your siblings than uh, she spends time with you, or at least that's your perception. You'll be jealous of them. You know, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what is the meaning similar. of this quote? Hello, Rebecca. How are you, Rebecca? Hello. Hi. Is this your first time on Verbo? Hello, everyone. Yeah. What? Is this, yeah. Is this your first time here, Rebecca? Okay, please. Yep, I can repeat. Uh, no, I was. Well, it's my first time with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, good. good, good. I, I discovered this website two months ago. Two months ago? Okay, well, good. Good, good. You should spend more time on it. So nice to uh, nice to meet you, Rebecca. Nice to meet you. So Furkan, were you pasting the chat somewhere? No. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I ask, what is the meaning of this quote? Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean the one here? Love looks through a telescope. Envy mm -hmm. looks through a microscope. Okay, sorry. So yeah, so let's look at the difference between a telescope and a microscope. Okay, so a telescope, that's something that you use in order to see the stars. By the way, if somebody if somebody has to a definition, please. To see universe. Please, what's to see that? universe. To see yeah. universe. And yeah, to the see microscope uh, to see cell. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. so Microorganism. Micro... Organism, oh, or, organism, make sure. I'm organism, sorry. organism. <laughs> yeah, make sure. I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. I'm so sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so sorry, I don't mean to, but I just couldn't help organism. it. Organism. Yeah, organism, yes. organism, organism. Not, organism. not the yes. other organ. That's what I want to say. <laughs> yeah, and I am science, so sorry, but it's just, it's, it's just yeah, a science. knee jerk reaction um, when you say okay. that because. Yeah, because you won't look at you look at it. Let's have a, uh, another meaning. <laughs> yeah, and no, no problem. I'm so sorry. I I never mean to. It just it, that was just too hard. So yeah. So in here, so this is a microscope. All right. So when I you look at this, okay. Yep. Yep. So love. I was thinking in scientific. <laughs> in scientific. Yep. Yeah, so, <laughs> they're both. <laughs> you okay. can't see them in the naked eye. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, all right. Uh, I think Carl. Carl, can you read the next one here? Okay. When people have no other tyrant, their own public opinion becomes one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Edward uh, Bulwer Lytton. All right. So, wow. This one. Uh, what about this one? Huh? Anybody want to talk about this? What was the meaning you know? Tyrant? Tyrant? Yeah, so tyrant, yeah, so... so Tyrant is like some Dictator. big shots try to control you, try to make you make you do what they want. Yep, yeah. yep. so a tyrant would be somebody... <coughs> wow, all these video games, uh, was, <laughs> you know? Alien, like alien. Yeah, well, let's see, so here, here are political tyrants, right? Okay? Yes. Like, like Hitler. Like Dictator. Dictator. Yeah, Hitler was a tyrant, you know. Yes. Some some feel that um, Omar Gaddafi was a uh, was a tyrant. Like, uh, Joseph Stalin and Russia. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, you know, Lenin. I, Lenin also. 
Uh, uh, Hitler. Yeah. This is, this is pretty funny. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay? So when they have no other tyrant, their own public opinion becomes one? Hmm. Yeah, for a guy, you would be the next one. So, so does anybody want to talk about this? What, what do they mean by their own public opinion becomes one? I think that means sometimes, even though there's nobody trying to control the public, but when nobody tries to control them, they will, they will like um, build build up their own cave to try to, you know, control themselves. Like the public opinion is sometimes could be very hateful. Mm -hmm. Well, you're and you're you're in China. And like I said, I, you know, I, I spent four years in China. Um, and by the way, you know, I know some people, you know, have have bad opinions about different places and blah blah blah. Um, yeah. You know, to me, every every place has its good and bad. You know, um, yeah. and I, I'm actually. I'm, I'm more pessimistic about the U.S. and the way things are. But anyway, so Carl, what about in, in China? You know, so the public there, you know, you have the largest population. Do you think the public opinion is a positive one that's keeping, keeping things going? Because China doesn't have a tyrant. When you look at it, you know, a lot of people um, leave in the party, right, and things are going well. Do you think that China can be its own worst enemy? that their public opinion can become a tyrant, like it's talking about here? Yeah, absolutely can. Because sometimes those older older generation, they have a different perspective from what, your, what, what our younger generation feel about things. So sometimes when you see a girl walking on the street with a short skirt, just a short skirt, and then those older generation, those elders, those seniors, they will start to talk about you, uh, pointing at that girl. Look at, look at, look at her. She's like a slut or something, and they started to talk about this. But that's all. That's all those girls do over the world, right? Right. So it's, it's really just, it's just a fashion, you know. So. Yeah, but they just can't get over it. It's like you, you are not supposed to just like this. They are being too conservative. Sometimes. Yep. Yep. Got it. Got it. Okay, let's try to squeeze in one more. Fanfo, can you read this last one here? The Optimist? Sure. The Optimist proclaims that we live in the best of all possible worlds. The pessimist fears this is true. <laughs> this, is, this is awesome, huh? So, so you know about the, uh, the Optimist and Pessimist. This this is the uh, the age old one class half okay so you know here's the difference between an optimist and a pessimist right so somebody who's a optimist believes that the glass is half full they're looking at things in a very good light and then the pessimist believes that it's half empty okay all right because they only look at the bad things in life so this this is awesome T tell us about this fanfo. Can you describe this quote? I love it. Uh, describe the difference between the optimist and the view. No, what it, so so what what are they saying about this? I mean, this is kind of funny, isn't it? You know. Uh, the the optimist. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. About the... But it's, it's okay. And anyone else have an opinion on this? Yeah. Can I describe it? Yeah. Go go ahead, Hiba. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, maybe the difference between the optimist and the uh, the pessimist. Uh, the optimist, an optimist, um, uh, when he uh, an optimist uh, person, when he faced uh, with a problem, uh, he try to find the upside to the situation mm -hmm. and uh, starts figuring out the. Uh, 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 ways to solve that problems. Okay. But yeah. the pessimist, uh, a pessimist, um, he is the fast. Uh, um, he's the 
uh, uh, he throws up his hands and uh, uh, says that's over. It's all it's all over. Yep, yep. And uh, another another thing on that, Furkan. <clears throat> oh, you have to go. Okay, all right, no problem. Keep Any on. anyone anyone else in class? Over, by the way, I'm going to end it um, after we talk about this. Anybody else have an opinion on this? Also, the, the optimist sees opportunity in every danger. I think this is this uh, this core thing is uh, perfect than the other one. Yep. But also too. So just because class is over, how about this? So the pessimist. Sometimes you know a lot of pessimists they like to live in that world of everything being negative. So if if everything is if we do live in the best of all possible worlds, that's not good for the pessimist because all of a sudden we do have a good world after all. So they don't they they don't want to believe that. So.